All right, hi everyone. My name is Nemihil and welcome back to the council. We're trying to find a way into this room beyond the nightmare. Yeah, it was actually on some rails. Or are these ropes? I don't know. We need to find out what this code could be. So, we know that it is... Oh, come on. One and nine should be the middle digits. Red berries. I don't dare to do this. What? A minor bird. Oh. I'm gonna move away. And I'm gonna take the red berries. Oh fuck, what if I kill him? I'm gonna take them. Hmm. Might come in handy. Let's check them out. Okay. They might be poisonous, though. I'm gonna take a piece of chocolate as well. Let's take a closer look. Take, take a chocolate. Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Yep, move away. So, the obvious thing would be to feed the bird berries. But I think the berries might be poisonous. A minor bird. Let's speak. Ask him for the code, you never know. Tell me the door code. Sarah de Riche. Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Waldo. <laughs> Lord Mortimer. Well, Waldo, is your master good? Waldo. Waldo. Yeah, I'm gonna give the chocolate. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, what have I done? It looks like I've killed him. Shit. I better not hang around. God damn it. I <laughs> When when you think you're clever and you do and you go and do that. My god, I thought I thought for sure that the berries were going to be poisonous. I killed Mortimer's bird. That is awkward. That is really awkward. What is he going to say? William Alexander Mortimer the first, the twelfth month of Analusis, five thousand one hundred ninety. Got the code. It's a funny date. Now I know the date. If this not, if this doesn't work, subtract it by f four thousand. Five. Yeah, let's try. It's not gonna work. Damn it! it doesn't work. Subtract by four. I'm a genius. Ninety. I was pretty sure it was right. Yeah, check it out. Maybe I didn't like use the this. right dating system. Genius. Doesn't work. Damn, damn it. it. I really thought I was close. 1,190. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? I must have missed a subtlety. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't do nothing right. Okay. William Alexander Mortimer the first, the twelfth month of Anno Lucis, five thousand one hundred ninety. That's a funny date. The twelfth, the twelfth month. Wait a minute. Uh, no need to remind you that the Freemason year AL begins in March. Not January. So the 12th, yep. Check it out. It's 591. Please let me be right. Let me be smart for once. Yes! Mmm, that feels so good. Open sesame. <laughs> I'm overexcited, I know, but yes. Ah, oh, that feels good. But I killed the bird, though. That's not good.
Whoa. Jesus, this is cool. A lot of things here. I'm getting I'm gonna get busted, aren't I? My dearest Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that I, it will soon be impossible to ignore pressure from the Russians. The Tsarina Catherine have every intention of supporting the Count of Provence and will recognize him as the re regent of the Kingdom of France. Once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage, he's he yeah, he he has been guillotined. I am sorry to announce bad news, but except, ex expect dark times ahead. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Um, has every intention of supporting the Count of Provence and will recognize him as the re regent of the Kingdom of France once King Louis has disappeared from the political stage. I am sorry to announce bad news, but expect dark times ahead. Your friend, Elfried Barr. Bauer. What's this? It's a map of Asia. A fine looking map of the Orient, indeed. Um, okay. Sir, your plans to intervene in Belgium are to go ahead as set down. I am to occupy the Prussian army. Your delivery of cannons to Valmy has ensured our victory. As agreed, I am notified the King of Prussia of the invasion plans of Custine and the Army of the North. I will keep the Austrians out of Belgium. I am to quickly return to Paris as I sense the fate of our King Louis is about to be decided dishonorably, and it is impossible for me to not, not to intervene. Should you have any missives to give to me, I invite you to go by, as per usual, our friend Monsieur Peru. Okay, so that's him. Sincerely yours, oh Jesus, what a name. Charles Francis Dumioris, General of the Army of the North, whatever. Um, I'm full on Devil's Thorn Gate. It's locked. Okay. My dearest Lord Mortimer, as a friend of China, rest assured that you will be rewarded for your information. No need to. You need to wor You need not worry about any scheming against us from Great Britain. Their re their representative, Mr. McCartney, will leave with no hope of any arrangements involving us. Your friend, Qian Long, Emperor of the King, Qing Dynasty. I don't know. Golden Elixir, I'm full on that. So many letters. William, whatever your projects, it would seem that our father is against leaving you with a grip on Europe. Russia will soon commit itself to the coalition against your dear France. Don't think you can resist for long. I beseech you, William, not to persist. You are tearing our family apart. Your loving brother, G. P.S. I shall come to your conference, but do you think that holding it at the present moment is conductive? G? It's a map of Europe. It shows the forces present in Europe. It's clear that France is surrounded by her enemies. However... A large number has been underlined in bold. 26 million. I know what it is. It's an estimation of my country's population. All our neighbors have far fewer inhabitants. Okay. Like, what is going on? My dear friend, thank you for your words and I do understand your situation. I regret having to confront you militarily. Uh, but if the situation obliges me, obliges me to declare war, then do what you think fit. Under your advisement, and with a weary heart, I am off to meet up with the coalition that opposes you, in the hope of serving you again. George, King of Hanover, King of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. Let's, let's do this room first. Oh, my dear friend, as desired, I have been able to gather together my friends to sign the agreement you proposed. This agreement shall be known as the Buttonwood Agreement. If you recall the place where we gathered when you met us for the first time, you will understand why this name was given. Hmm. Please find enclosed a list of my colleagues. Leonard Ble Bleeker, 16 Wall Street. Uh, Hugh Smith, Tontine, 
Tontine Coffee House, Armstrong and Barnawall, 58 Broad Street, Samuel March, hmm. Andrew de Barclay, Benjamin Sykes, John Henry, John Bush, David Reedy. Thanks to your help, we shall soon be able to meet at my place, the Tontine Coffee House. I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible. Hugh Smith. My dear friend, with thanks for your services rendered in helping the fight against the Spanish and the conquest of Oran, a ship bound for Mar Marseille, Marseilles, Marseille, Marseille, Marseille in France <laughs> has been chartered. Hidden aboard are a few corpses infected with the plagues that is decimating our country at this moment in time. Be very careful when handling these boxes because if inadvert because if inadvertently opened, you risk spreading the disease all over France. Mohammed El Kabir. What? Hmm. So he wants to send the plague to France? Did I get that right? It's a map of the Americas. This shows the forces present in America. Okay. The gift has been delivered. Timur Shah Durrani, King of Afghanistan. Wow, this dude has some connections. Of Punjab, of Sindh, of Mashhad, and of Kashmir should not retain his title much longer. His son Zaman will succeed him as planned. We will then be able to resume negotiations. K. What's this? Weakness of the human psyche by Giham Trimor. Hmm. He says it is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in and goes on there are hundreds of good ways to live life but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible <laughs> the author isn't letting any ethical principles get in his way is he no <gasps> golden elixir no royal jelly i'm sorry let's use it and remove this whatever it is my lord, I hope this letter will reach you. My hours are numbered, my printing house has been confiscated, and I am imprisoned in the fortress of Schlisselburg. If by chance you could intervene in my favor, I would be eternally in your debt. The Tsarina Catherine should not be long in banning all Golden Order lodges from her territory. Uh, our horizon has become considerably darker. In the hope that you can help me, your friend Nikolai Novikov. Wow, there's so much that I don't understand. You have no idea. Dear Lord Mortimer, I am writing you I'm writing to ask you to persuade President Washington not to sign the Fugitive Slave Act. As it stands, we must absolutely legislate on a national level and not to allow every state to choose their policy regarding slaves. Oh yeah, it's it's that time. <laughs> It was initially intended to resolve a conflict between Pennsylvania and Virginia. By signing it, we risk legislating the hunting of blacks. More and more men of little faith are becoming slave hunters, oh my god. And unable to find any slaves on the run, they kidnap the first black they come across, which they pass off as the wanted runaway. People were s s sick in the head uh, back in the day. The situation threatens to quickly de degenerate. Thanks, thank you in advance. Your friend, John Adams. P.S. Say hello to my daughter, Elizabeth, for me. Yes. So that's John Adams from America. Uh, dear Lord Mortimer, I regret to inform you that our, plan, that our plans in Poland are set to fail. Russia and Prussia are working in cohort to bleed, out dear, to bleed our dear Poland. We have no power here. We continue to maintain pressure as best we can on the Prussian border as agreed in order to occupy Frederick Williams' army. But I do not know how long we can keep it up. Your devoted servant, Elfried Bauer. Hmm. Let's go over here. Map of Africa. It shows the forces present in Africa. This is unexpected activity in this sector. It looks like there are also many unknowns, even for Mortimer. 
analyze the geopolitical situation. Moreover, it shows a fair number of sea voyages being organized towards the American continent. No doubt with slaves. How many men are broken in this trade? Tens of thousands each year, according to what people say. Okay, so now it seems we can analyze every geopolitical situation for free. Oh shit, no. Damn it. Let's do it. Some of those forces are pushing toward the west. On it, Mortimer's placed little feather symbols at different points toward which the Spanish are headed. Could he be fueling Indian resistance to slow down Spain? Hmm. I don't know. Let's check this. Please be free. Oh, I can't analyze it. Well, then it's fine. It looks like a campaign is being prepared in France in favor of Italy. Could Mortimer have decided to finance a war? Yeah, has he? We enter the other room. My dearest friend, our plans are going ahead wonderfully well. The Coinage Act has been voted. Your project of funding the very first Bank of America should not be delayed and will probably be called Union Bank. Uh, as for the construction of the White House, it is still died to begin in October. I will accept no delays. You can trust me on this. I hope to see you soon. Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. A table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. Something's underlined. Chemical table of symbols. A table of alchemical elements. So, Lord Mortimer also studies alchemy? It seems like he's interested in everything. Here's a four letter. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Oh, I don't have any keys. Wait, fire? Trying to look for the symbol, I can't see it. Is 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 it a star? Doesn't look like it. Um, uh, whatever. Let's continue. Key with an occult fire symbol. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. I have... Use the left key. Well, that one... Unlock the second lock. Damn it, I need one more. What's this? Am I seeing things, or is that an actual Von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Cool. Even at the border, it took us ages to get one of those. Immunity. Science. Okay. What is this dude up to? Dear Lord Mortimer, be assured of my entire devotion. As agreed, the Vendi, Vondi, Vendi, Vendi, I don't know how to pronounce it, peasantry will soon rise up. My network is striving to increase the pressure of the masses. The decision of the assembly, which consists of voting the civil constitution of the clergy, is inf inflaming the region. Uh, the people overwhelmingly reject the priests and swear loyalty to the state. If you can ensure that the convention will administer the final blow to the people, the issue will be resolved. Without wishing to direct you, a forced recruitment for a faraway conflict would be a perfect way to arouse the people definite, defini definitively. What? Definitively? <laughs> I was thinking definitely, but it's not that. Definitively. Uh, your devoted servant, Francis Athanasi Charles de la Con Okay, yeah, whatever. Carmelite water. Ooh. Let's do this. 
A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. Carmelite. Unlock. What is here? Nothing? Collector coins? Are you serious? What? I just got collector coins? Okay, I got a lot of them. God damn it. Uh, I read this. What's this? Hmm. That must be for writing the homing pigeon messages. Oh, okay. Anything here? No. Dear Lord Mortimer, as agreed, I have changed your old lock for one of my invention. Drawing inspiration from your doctor friend, Mr. Gil Gil Guillotine. Here's the model of your new lock. If you appreciate my product prototype, it is difficult to imagine how it all fits together together. But it will but it will be located in the middle of the present door. Uh, the aim being to alter nothing of the door's functionality, but to add a bit of spice. Depending of the depending on the lineup of the wheels, the aforementioned lock will open or will punish the snooper whose faith is not strong enough. It's called I call my invention the judgment of faith. Because if a snooper is unable to resist opening it, they will be punished. I hope you'll appreciate the irony of the situation. Gus Gustave Montrant, master architect. Oh, shit. That's it. Something strange about this table. What? Look at the instruments? The little surgeon's perfect collection. I don't have science. A book? The Humani Corporis Fabrica. Okay. I don't know. Okay, science. These are feathers. Pigeon, probably. A skeleton by the name of Gustav. If the plaque on the plinth is anything to go by. Mortimer's given a name to his anatomy skeleton. <laughs> That's morbid. Gustav. Oh, his right hand is missing. Strange. I don't recognize the alphabet. I wonder where the pictograms are from. It isn't Egyptian or Hebrew. There are two inscriptions on the sides as well as on the top. No way to know what's underneath. Absolutely no idea what it's for, but I find this cue fascinating. Examine the material. It looks like obsidian or onyx. It must weigh a ton. Move away. Um, that is weird. Preservation using formaldehyde. Just as disgusting as ever. Okay. Oh, there's a lot here. Lord Mortimer, the tiger is dying. On your demand, I have attacked Travancore and personally cut the throats of as, of as many Englishmen as possible, though without help from the French. I cannot hold them off much longer. My forces are rapidly diminishing in spite of your new rockets. Help us, Tipu Sahib, Sultan of Mysore. Mysore. What is this? Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? <laughs> that would surprise me. Read the draw. It is a typical draw in a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance. That announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business. Anyone success. thinking of the Binding of Isaac right to now? To the right, the emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Uh, I did not really listen. Let's do it again. Look, a pack of tarot cards. Has he been reading the cards? Mortimer? Oh. That would surprise me. Come on. It is a typical draw in a line that answers a specific question. To the left, temperance. That announces a reward for one who patiently waits before taking any action. Okay. And in the middle, the chariot, which symbolizes triumph and business success. Okay. To the right... The Emperor evokes a future full of power and stability. Okay. Some goat skulls, chicken legs. Now we all know what that's for. I'm a little surprised at Mortimer. 
I didn't seem as the type to be organizing little pagan parties, invoking occult powers, and dancing naked under the full moon. <laughs> I'm more used to seeing cheap charms like this sold by charlatans in Pré saint gervais Three rusty old nails. They're about 20 centimeters long. Three of them. Okay. Search Mortimer, Mortimer's secret study. Um, I have. What else do I need to do? Oh, what's this? An iron mask. I wonder who it's for. I checked this. Can I climb this? No, of course not. I've probably just missed something. Uh, let's go back here for a while. Oh, the globe. Let us see if you have the courage to face me alone. This is my mother's writing. I've picked up oh, a trail. Shit. What is she up to? Obviously, she wants to lure Mortimer somewhere, but, but where? The only clue she's left for Mortimer is his stone sword. It must be intentional. It looks like a decorative sword, like from a statue, for example. And judging by the state of it, I'm, I'm guessing it's been left outside for a long time. I have absolutely got to find out where it came from. Okay. Go find your mother. Wow. Um, this was very... This room was freaking interesting. Uh, I'm gonna end this episode here, and uh, we're gonna pick it up in the next one, of course. My name is Nimhu, thank you so much for watching, and do consider subscribing if you want more of this kind of content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.